This is the 10 o'clock news at 10. Welcome back to the 10 o'clock news at 10. I'm Don Williams. And I'm Ezio Auditori. We take you now to Chuck Spaulding with his new segment, Reliving Books from the Past. Thanks, Ezio. I'm Chuck Spaulding, and I'm here to talk to you about these two books, Hard Times by Charles Dickens and Germinal by Emile Zola. Both are considered excellent representations of life during the Industrial Revolution, but how accurate are they? In order to find out, I intend to use this. A time machine? That's right, Don, a time machine. I will be going back in time in order to interview the actual people during the Industrial Revolution. Before we begin, let me fill you in on the stories of Hard Times in Germinal. Hard Times is in three parts and focuses on the Gradgrind family. Thomas Gradgrind is a teacher who believes strongly that statistics and facts are much more important than imagination and creativity. He has a son, Thomas Gradgrind Jr., who is hedonistic, and a daughter named Louisa, who married his business partner, Mr. Boundary. Germinal is about a migrant worker named Etienne Lantier, who goes to France to get a job as a miner. He befriends an experienced miner who gets him a job in the mine. The living and working conditions of the miners get worse and worse, and eventually Etienne Lantier becomes the leader of a strike, which leads to a violent ra riot. Now that you know what they're about, it is time to go interview some people from the past. Where are you, Chuck? Here we are, London and the times of the Industrial Revolution. Let's go find some people to interview. Oh wait, I almost forgot my disguise. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh, and look, it has one of those new electric lights on it. And there's a man standing there. Let's go interview him. You can turn that off until we get there, Jimmy. Excuse me, sir. Can you please describe your living and working conditions? Uh, actually, who are you? Uh, I'm a reporter. Uh, okay. Well, if you must know, uh, it's extremely uncomfortable. I live in a teeny house with my wife and my two five and seven year old kids who all work in my terrible mind with me. The, my work is terrible. I, I work in a coal mine, cold, wet, dark, and the hours, I work 14 hours a day. Are you happy? I mean, there's your answer. That's too bad. Okay, bye. Alright. <laughs> well, that interview definitely demonstrated that the harsh conditions in coal mines are, as described in Emile Zola's Germinal, are very accurate. Let's go find someone else to interview. Oh, there's someone right there. Stop. Excuse me, sir. May I ask you a few questions? Yes, of course. Uh, can you please describe your living and working conditions? Yes. I live in Southampton, which is south of Southampton. I'm a retired merchant, and I'm very happy in Southampton. Oh, congratulations. So are you the wealthiest man around here? No. That would be Mr. Spaulding. He is residing right over there in that chair. Thank you. <laughs> well, that man was a good example of a middle-class man, such as the ones in Hard Time and Germinal. Now let's go see this Mr. Spaulding person. Hey, isn't your name Spaulding? Oh, yes it is. Perhaps we're related. This is the house of Mr. Spaulding, the wealthy businessman. Could it be that he is an ancient ancestor of mine? Let's go find out. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Spaulding. Can I have a moment with your time? Who are you? How do you know my name? What are you doing in my house? Uh, can you tell me something a little bit about your living and working conditions? My working conditions? What? Why? How dare you come in here and ask me that? Okay. Obviously, this guy's never heard of an interview before. <laughs> 
Chuck, if you can't get an interview with this guy, then you're fired. Now be professional. What's going on here? Can you just answer the question, please? Oh, very well. I'm the owner of a local coal mine. I'm very wealthy for it. I have a wife and servants. Is that all you require? Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Thank you. Oh, okay. Now get out of my sight. Get back here. The interview's over. I knew I'd find you here. I got a score to settle with you. Get down. Oh, I said... So based on my in-depth interviews, Hard Times and Germinal are both accurate accounts of life during the Industrial Revolution. I hope that guy doesn't kill Mr. Spaulding or I might stop existing. Whoa, what? He disappeared. Industrial revolution, industrial revolution, industrial revolution, industrial revolution, industrial revolution, industrial revolution.